welcome back to another video hope you all have a wonderful day and today we're going to take a quick look at the raspberry pi 4 which is a lot different than the raspberry pi 3 it is completely more powerful and we're going to take a look at that in a bit but as you can see it looks a lot different as well in terms of what's on the board not only that uh you can also now get it in one three and four gigabyte variants and i'm not too sure what to do in terms of projects for this thing so if you guys have any ideas dump them in the comments below and i'll have a look now starting off with the main thing as you can see the io is completely different now uh, starting off with power we now have usb type c for power and this thing does draw a lot more current than the previous pi so it's recommended to get a four or six amp adapter we also now have two micro hdmis capable of 4k 60 hertz a 3.5 mil jack as usual and you now have as you can see on the side here two full-size usb 3 ports which is really handy not only that we now have gigabit ethernet and it's not running through the usb bus anymore it's running directly to cpu so you get the full gigabit speed and um you still have the normal gpio and camera pins uh pinouts sorry and not only that, as you can see, the CPU in the board looks a lot different, and so does a lot of the modules. So everything is completely different. And not only that, now to mention, there's also power on Ethernet pins right next to the Ethernet jack there on the board. So you don't have to use a uh, power on Ethernet board or darter board on top of your Pi to get that working. Also, as in terms of the SD card, it now can support higher speed SD cards. So you can, if you have one that's capable of higher read and write speeds, it will be able to uh, use that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty short uh, Again, I don't really have much ideas as to what I could do with this thing I did mess around with it and it's a lot faster than the previous board now If you guys have any project ideas or anything you'd like to see me do let me know in the comments below Also, I am trying to get my hands on a 64-bit OS for this thing uh, But yet still nothing has been made there is no uh, image or no version of Ubuntu server Which has been made for the previous pies uh, in 64-bit. So yeah until next time guys, hope you all enjoy and I'll catch you all next one.